right, Gyps, take it away. Okay, Mike. What happened to Crow there? Oh, we went outside to check the ship's gutters. The uh, derecho kicked up, and he got caught in three hail storms. Well, sure, it is the season for him, huh? Yeah, about three grand in hail damage. Uh, it's going to be about three weeks in the shop, but Gyps gave me a loaner, Crow, so. Cool. Hey, it's that old AMC Crow that gypsy has been tinkering with for years. Hey, guys, are there things that are happening? <coughs> Man, he must be running rich. Yeah, well, I'll flip his air filter cover over, and uh, he should be fine. Check it out. He's got a killer radio there. Oh, wow, cool. We'll be right back. Later, we'll take stuff and do it, right? Shh. Where does the continuing of things which goes again? Man, he's getting worse. Yeah. Hey, oh. hey <laughs> Crow, you look as good as new. Yeah, Gypsy covered me with a layer of true coat. Hey, uh, fake me. She needs you back at the shop. Some other guy's crow got trashed by a semi on I-95. <laughs> the other guy's crow? You have said goodbye to things. Right, okay. Uh, oh, Pearl S. Buck is calling. Cheap yeah. model. Yeah. Okay, Nelson. Time for your semi-annual checkup. So, how are you feeling these days? Doing very well these days, Pearl. Thank you. No physical pain anywhere, no mental anguish, no vague feelings of unease, poor sleep, crying jags, hives, corns. No. Well, I was a bit upset a few days ago when I lost some shiny bottle caps that I quite like, but I found them, and ever since, it's been damn good times. I'm feeling very, very happy, and I've never felt healthier. I have a good life. Thank you. Why? What is wrong with you? I work my fingers to the bone trying to make you miserable, and you have the, the insensitivity to tell me you're happy? You know, Pearl, it might behoove you to reevaluate the experiment itself. As a wise old observer once said, to constantly repeat the same action and expect a variant reaction is surely a sign of madness. <coughs> oh. Then why do you keep mouthing off to me? You get the same reaction every time. Such points taken. Okay, Nelson. As a scientist, I must determine for myself what is methodologically incorrect about this setup. I'm going in. You and me are going to trade places for today. Okay, Brainstem, do it. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Whoa. Now remember, Mike, if you try to escape while you're down here, each of these two creeps is willing, able, even anxious to kill you in many different horrible ways. But for the sake of scientific control, I want you to relentlessly browbeat them, just like I do. And I will act real bland up on the satellite, just like you. <laughs> Going up, Chalky. <laughs> Hello, Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike. Well, it looks like we got us a free ride. Yeah. Woo -hoo. No movie, no Mike. Cool. Parte. <laughs> yeah. Not so fast, Tinker Toys. We got some cinema to watch. Hey, brain guy, send up Quest of the Delta Knights. That'll hurt me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl, that's movie science, meaning you'll kill you if you don't hurry into the theater. Oh, delightful. I forget what a nice, subtle touch I have sometimes. Good for me. Right off the bat, I got a problem with this movie. Reg. <laughs> From the land comes life. And fat free goodness. Many years ago, terror stalked the land, making life harsh, unfair, and treacherous. Jimmy Carter was in office. <laughs> the principal agent of evil was the wicked black knight, Lord Voltaire. Hi. Only one group dared defy him the sacred order of the Delta Knights. They alone possessed the secrets that could destroy him. Voltaire was obsessed with discovering these <laughs> secrets. He attacked indiscriminately, desperately searching for clues that could lead him to the Delta Knights. It was a time of darkness and danger. A time of heroes and villains. Yeah, and Renfest rejects. Time for the Delta Knights. Cut down in the land of the Delta Knights. <laughs> Witchy Poo cracks down on puffin' stuff. <laughs> 
take care of my leather mug and some people from the suburbs. Yeah, Joan Blondell. Yo. <laughs> Packers! <laughs> my boat. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I forgot my cigarettes. I'm going to have a mint. You guys want a mint? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the last one I got. You can clean it off Great. if you want. Thanks. Here, I'll split it for you. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Pearl. Thank you, Pearl. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Good mint. Oh. Well, better than Quest of the Delta Burks, I suppose. Ray Garman for sale here. Dag Nabbit, Lukey. This, this sounds like a movie that should have Matthew Broderick in it. Uh huh. Well, when these guys aren't writing lines of code, they're out doing this crap. <laughs> Lead singer for Canned Heat. <laughs> Ashley Wilkes is coming to call him. Me sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Simply Red. 20th century will be here any day now. You'll be fine. Get away from him. What? He's just a boy. Hey, programs. Get your programs here. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a beard or a toilet seat cover? <laughs> In it for the money, folks. Stuck his face in dryer lint. Hey, Geek. Hey, Wizard. <laughs> and bime. Beef tink and chicken blanc and pork flunk. What the <laughs> hell? Any other bit? Lock 36, seven, ten, and Comes with a free pool cue. <laughs> a fine young lad. <laughs> Who'll give me five? That's like the uh, him up, you'll find lots of use to He takes lance wounds in the chest well, as you can see. <laughs> free, free, free. Who'll get us going at three? Oh, that crippled him before. Good one, breast exposing lady. One. Come now, one silver. He's worth ten times that. Then you buy him. <laughs> then you buy him. You hear that? Then you buy him, she <laughs> said. Let us stitch. Now come, every lot must be sold. Who give me one? Stop wasting your time. One stick. Ah, one silver. Do I hear two? Who bid two? Copper. Lice cam. One copper. <laughs> Who goosed me? Mad. That's an insult. You get out of here, you swine, or I'll have you flogged. Let's see the girl. Free on the girl. Yeah. Let's move along. Well, lady, I can't accept the copper. Take it and move along, or would you prefer I spoke to my cousin, the Lord Voltaire? So. Oh, the movie titles continue till the very end of the movie. Yes. That's telling them, Next up, Pippi Longstocking. I'm so happy. <laughs> Stupid shirt, I'm gonna hurt you, man. Stupid dumb shirt. Here now, have some angel dust. What's your name, boy? I'm Jonathan Taylor Thomas, I think. His underwear and his hat are interchangeable. Como te llamas? Yeah, you'll Kiro Taco Bell, whatever. Como vous appelez-vous? 
Gemma Pell bite me. <laughs> I'm actually just apartment sitting for my brother. Welcome. I like to call it the plague nest. The high stoop? He's the lost member of ZZ Top. I think so. Jeez. So, you have no name. If I lit your head on fire, would that jog your memory? Time for food. Hope you like rats. English, eh? My name is Beidoul. Oh, wait, that's my intestinal condition. Can you say Beidoul? Let me try. Get bent. Uh, no, I guess I can't. <laughs> You're no longer a slave. Understand? You're the hostage of a madman. This is your home now. You live in this basket. You have a roof over your head. Keeps out the rain, most of the time anyway. Oh. There's always food on the table. And food in my beard. Would you like some food? I would, but what's that crap you're holding up? All you have to do is ask. And so help me, I'll put you down. Ah, it's Martin Lando. It's a disguise. There are times when you need a disguise. Disguises come in handy now and then. Like when you're cruising Sunset Boulevard. Don't be afraid. I'll see if Bombadil has a place to crash. No, it's Joe Walsh! <sighs> ah! Robert Bork takes a constitutional. <laughs> He's a living Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> oh, please, no, no. Oh. Yeah, what's he pulling out? Help! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> Wizard whiz. We'll drain the wizard. Oh. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, yuck. Ah, oh, no. Very oh, gross. Oh, oh, your pardon, oh, sir. Fool. Oh. Come inside, boy. There's all sorts of rubbish in the streets of this hour. Oh, that's my pee. <laughs> the pee throwing scene, ladies and oh. gentlemen. Now I'm going to attach Rosie Greer's head to your shoulder. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. You bet I am. <laughs> he gave us a mint. Yeah. Excuse me? My name is Travis. Man, do you ever shut up? <laughs> Travis, is it? Oh, sorry. It's a fine name. If you're gay. How is it you came to be sold as a slave? I accidentally put a sign on myself that read, Slave for Sale. A big battle was coming. My father sent us to safety. He wasn't very good at that. Mm -hmm. But they attacked. It's all right now, Travis. <laughs> yeah. All is well. Oh, yeah, I got blocked by a beard-wearing psycho. I had half a can of pee thrown at me. Yeah, things are great. Another me tea. Huh. Kid's kind of dumb, huh? Well. And during the day, I'm a Stevie Nicks impersonator. No doll is that way, damn it. Ah, it's pots for throwing pee at your neighbors. <laughs> Good news, only 20% of the village died of the plague overnight. Um, will someone spare some coffee? A latte, anyone? I'll even take decaf. Yeah, you are toenail clipping then. Well, back now, this is a lot of money. Hey, a wheat penny. I got some lint and a bloody molar. <laughs> Hurry up, I gotta fly a sop with camel in a minute. 
Halt, Sir Dan of Blocker. Master Bo Jangles, big. That's great for us. <laughs> oh, my pyramid begging scheme is working. Watch, I'm gonna kill all the ants. Watch, <laughs> kill them, kill them. <laughs> bring in the noise, bring in the funk. Yeah, I think the funk is pretty well covered by these folks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we make less when you dance. <laughs> I could buy and sell your ass. Ah, oh, the medieval Denny Terrio. <laughs> Cat heads for the rats. Food. You wait here, I'll be right back. We heard about the kid who dances. We're from the William Morris Agency. Alan Hill! Shut up and get these criminals to the prison. Now, let the fate of these wretches serve as a lesson to you all. Insurrection will not be tolerated in the land of the Manager. Oh, they killed her personal Smurf. He was a great peasant. One black. Lord Voltaire. Last week on Knights. He's the one. The one T. Safe. Oklahoma with a win. <laughs> I'm up. Oh, stop that sobbing. Gar, have these people disperse or I'll arrest them as spies. Hmm? He's reading Ye Firm. Who's Cato? Clouseau's houseboy. You can read. T, that's magnificent. Where did you learn? Hooked on phonics. But don't be afraid, you can read. It's wonderful. Read me Portnoy's complaint. Who told you? No one. You taught yourself. Well, I can only read the word Cato, I feel like. From lands far to the north <sighs> will come a young sage. Oh, Garrison Keeler. Pardon me. This is an atlas. There are maps in it. Yeah, yeah, that would be an atlas, yeah. <laughs> England. Dan and John Ford Coley. You could read maps as well. Our manor house was just outside London. Your manor house, really? And he's trying to get himself invited to... Know it. Yes, Master. No. Not Master T. You're free now. You're no longer a slave, remember? My mother taught me. Those whom we respect. Those with great wisdom and dignity we should call Master. Right, Mr. Bader? <laughs> I can live with that. I can also live with my scabies. Ah, oh, another plague-ridden day. Rubber soul font. What the? Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. <laughs> go on, go on. You know what I want. Hmm? Fix it and bring it back before nightfall. Hey, how's it going, Pete? Not bad, Charlie. Well, what is it? Don't stand there flapping your jaws. Have I responded to the Emperor of Cathay? Yes, your ladyship. What did I say? Sorry. You refused him, your ladyship, uh, again. Of course I did. He's dull and diminutive. Is Danny DeVito? What else? As Ooh. your ladyship oh. ordered, Lord Voltaire is waiting. How long has he been waiting? Since midday, your ladyship. She's a Merv Griffin well, production. That will have to do, I suppose. Send him in. A time for us to be in a crappy film. Doesn't she know who she's meddling with? 
well, evidently not the greatest. The Panther of the Pyrenees. Mm -hmm. The Panther. The Scourge of Iberia. The Sultan of Swing. I am forever your humble servant, your loveliness. Hi. Her ladyship will oh. see you now. I gotta get back to the new power generation. You want me to oscillate, ma'am? Never ask Bootsy Collins if you can borrow a coat. Yes. We've rounded up a number of suspects. Including Kevin Spacey. I'm certain some of them are spies for the Order. What of the map? No word. It seems... Chilly in here. Could you turn down your guy? Yes. It seems they're waiting. Waiting? Beat it, Wavy. Why would the Order be waiting? Well, maybe they're waiting for the map to arrive from some far-off land, or maybe they're waiting for some person. I'm not sure. Not sure? Yeah. Are you trying, Vulture? Yes, Your Graciousness. Well, try harder. I can't have spies hiding under every rock. I just can't have it. Do you understand? It will be done, Your Loveliness. Uh, hibachis are going, sir, if you want to stick around for burgers. Frightening. Uh, you were a decap, right, ma'am? Pearl, carry me, okay? This way, oh, oh, an underground I parking garage? Come here. Carry me, too, Pearl. This way, Come Randa. on. Very good, sir. We love you, Pearl. You are beautiful. You are beautiful and you are wonderful and we love you. Uh-huh. Fine. Whatever. You gave us a mint. <laughs> Will you stay with us forever and ever and ever? Nope. Hey, Nelson. <laughs> well, well, I'm out. Yeah, I got nothing here. You cheating again, brain guy? Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you guys, this is great. Just sitting around with a couple of men doing a little male bonding. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. You are male, aren't you, brain guy? Whoa, last time I checked, buddy boy. <laughs> hey, ask your girlfriend. She'll tell you I am. Oh, <laughs> boom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, no, it's great, though. You know, be sitting here with a couple of man-sized men. Not to have to always be the big, clumsy lummox all the time. Down here, that's you, Bobo. <laughs> yeah, well, ask your girlfriend. She'll tell you I am. <laughs> that doesn't quite work, does it? Not a bit, no. Hey, uh, whip us up another bottle of single malt there, will you? Can do, Mike's stuff. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry we terrorized you and tried to kill you earlier, Mike. Ah, stuff in your big hairball. <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, come on, kill me. Who hasn't tried? That's so true. That's so true. <laughs> oh, it's just great to be away from that lawgiver for a while. You know, she could be such whoa, safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me about it, man. You know, someday she's going to tell me to do something. I'm just going to look her right in the eyes and I'm going to. Can can we help you? I'll rain horrible fiery death on you later for those remarks. Uh -huh. Right now I have the conclusions of my evaluation and I need a break from these two chattering objects. What? Okay, brain butt, do it. No, you can't oh. go, Pearl. <laughs> no, please don't leave us. Please, oh. mint giver, we love you. <laughs> Whoa. Weird. Yuck, weird. Hi, guys. You missed me? Yeah. I'm going to go take a shower. Woof, Woof man. Well, oh, yeah? Well, well, ask your girlfriend. She'll tell you that I... <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Master, what's this? Hmm? Oh, damn, now I have to tell him about the bodies. Perhaps it's time for you to shut up and let me sleep. Hmm. See, I've invented a device called the basement. Nice new Birkenstocks. Hmm. Come on up, Mom. <laughs> Hope you like watermelon rind pickles. It's his museum of odors. <laughs> <laughs> so the big secret is he's got an unfinished basement with water damage? 
such wealth is not in this box. Master. Hmm? Why do we beg? It allows me to move around freely. Like a good pair of underwear. Master. You're a spy. You're drawn by Sergio Aragonis. What do you know about spies? Very little. Hmm. Okay, then what do you know about gelatin? I'm a member of the Order. He bats eighth. A Delta Knight. The Order is a secret society dedicated to bringing mankind out of the Dark Ages into an age of enlightenment. We want to open the door to neutron bombs, infotainment, and snacks. I suppose you could say I'm a spy. I'm semi-retired now. I don't do as much spying as I used to. Delta Knights try to achieve wisdom by acquiring knowledge, judgment, and passion. Pea-throwing skills. <laughs> I've been waiting in this town for five years. Working at the A&W. Waiting for you. For me? Why? I need you to help me look for the guy who's really going to help us. I invented staples, by the way. <laughs> Prophecies. From lands far to the north will come a young sage. Or you. Walking slow hmm? and seeing little. His special sight will open the cage. Bunch of crap, really. Your coming has been foretold. Hmm. You're from England. Which is unfortunate, but... Yeah. You taught yourself to read at the age three. When I first saw you, you could hardly walk. Your one eye was swollen shut. It's quite a fair description, I would say. You forgot love machine. But uh, what's the cage? The Order has learned that the lost storehouse of Archimedes is located somewhere here in this region. You know, somewhere around Europe. Mm. Archimedes? The greatest scientist to ever live. <laughs> it is thought that he had access to the science of Atlantis. The lost continent. The most advanced civilization mankind has ever known. Mm. The surviving secrets of Atlantis were stored at the library of Archimedes. Mom! But in 212 BC, the Romans attacked. And pushed down all our cheap sets. As the battle raged on outside, Archimedes struggled to preserve these secrets and knowledge. Let's get that order out, the key people! To the future was this red book, entitled The Right Way. Oh, and the Corgan Crystal! fabled that Archimedes was developing a new weapon, the Corgon Crystal. Stay in the tunnel, Poros, until you reach the boat. Rocky! Go, Poros, go, go! As his apprentices gathered the inventions and hurried them to safety, Archimedes raced to finish the prophecies. It's Sadie Hawkins' the day! The drew ever closer. Where is Archimedes? You're the reaper! Bring him! Just a moment, I'm almost finished! The little goat. Oh, right in the tomato. Ooh. Wow. In his ignorance, a nameless centurion killed the greatest scientist of all time. Leave him. He's nothing. Cock a doodle do. <laughs> it was only by the grace of God that the Red Book survived. Passed down through the ages. This book is our key. Tea's ready! Hmm? All the magnificent machines of knowledge. Nothing less than a blueprint for the future. And you are the key to take us there. Well, you and this other guy. When your training is complete, the Order will send us the map. I have hockey practice. I've already taught you many things, T. Has even a word of this gotten through? But there are still many things to learn. You still haven't cracked soap, for example. Hey. Hands off the threads, creep. Skip to page 37, where Sonny and the Bridesmaid are, well, you'll see. <laughs> oh, man, idiot. Why did I tell him I could read? Well? And Collinsworth grabs it. Will you look at him go? Years later, he was still on the first page. 
kids turned into Nellie Olson. Look at them. Now, these can put a person to sleep in no time at all. They are tiny James Michener books. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Here's the dead man's brains, and here's his eyeballs. <laughs> Got a new humidor. I have a wife and family. Ah. <laughs> NRA homeschooling. <laughs> Hi, townspeople. It's not the beggar. It's me, a nobleman. The time has come, but the map's not here. Lord Belcher has intercepted it. Look for the moor with a patch over his eye by the bakery. He will tell us where to find the map. You mean the dumpy nun? It'll be a nice day if it doesn't rain. It's always a nice day if it doesn't rain. If the sun's not too warm. So you're a Delta Knight too, huh? <laughs> He's really rather an art less dodger. Mm -hmm. A potato chip. Why? Is it a code? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. I'm just farting around here. <laughs> Recover map from Wizard Whamful. Who's Wizard Whamful? Ah, it's the guy I went to wizard school with. The manager's Merlin. Yes, did a baby savior just get born here? Oh, someone's not overdressed. <laughs> yes? We were sent for. What? <laughs> we were sent for. Are they in the same movie? <laughs> you were? That? Yes. I'm Dr. Ramsion de Bourgeois, and this eh? is my apprentice, Guy Alapati. Why don't you have a seat in the bar until we have a table for you? The call for Magi? Magi? Magi. Uh, yes, to uh, uh, decipher some important paper. All oh, right! Right, of course! Voltaire's project! Uh, wow. It's a wonderful laboratory you have here. Why, thank you. He's got a personal airbag. Is that a new Rasmit? Yes, it is. I got it just last month. Like Man, am I foul today. Oh, please help yourself. He's an Erica Badu impersonator. Mm. I had another one for many years. It never worked. And this one I got on sale. It was oh. terrific. This, I love it. I love it. I mean, the love, this is not... Dang, an ancient servo. Oh, oh, wow. This lens was made in Venice. Ooh, that's platoons only for sharpshooters. History's first pepper grinder. Oh, Lord Voltaire. Hmm. What's going on? Excuse me. Any new progress with the, uh... The map? Oh, I haven't even begun that yet. What? Well, I'm waiting for the experts to arrive. Yes, did my, um, test come back? Who are these people? The experts. I am Dr. Ramsden de Bourgeois, and this is my apprentice. That's fromage. And I know you. Aren't you me in another role? What's your name? Guy... Ask the boy. Guy... Lafleur. Alapati. We just arrived in your fair city last night, my lord. What are you doing here? We're magi. You asked for experts, didn't you? You believe I gotta act with this guy? Let me see your papers. You checked their papers? I no, no, okay, no, I really have have you filed your papers with the chief scribe? You imbecile, you know the rules? You should file first. How can you operate without rules? I find this totally unacceptable. Unacceptable, yes, but to a point. Yes, yes. You uh, you, I never got a memo. Never got a memo. Never said ow, 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 ow. Uh-oh. Moron! I'm, I'm sorry. That's my, my fault. My fault entirely. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's also David Warner. Yeah, Crow. Wow. God. Wow. 
Well, it sounds like my bacon's ready. I better go check that. Do we have a punchline written yet? Or... Are you sure you copied everything down? Yes, every mark. Maybe it's your stupid brotherhood that's the problem. There's no indication of north. There's no way to orient the map. Well, there must be. What's this say? Children's menu available. The arrow must show where the father did glow. E-I-E-I-O. What a father. The father is capitalized. Hmm. Does that mean God the father? Or Steve the father. Where did he glow? At happy hour, every day. In the Holy Lands? This map has been waiting for you. Hmm? Only you. Sorry I spilled grape juice on it. Maybe it's your father. Luke. Now, when did he glow? Well, he did drink a lot of phosphorus. <laughs> With pride at your birth. Hmm? You point the arrows to the place of your birth. We orient the map. Now, let's tap that spigot on your head and have some cider. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You're fired. Our years together have been happy and full, T. Oh, is he going to ask me to marry him? Oh, no. But the time is near for you to fulfill your destiny. You shall be a mod impersonator. I'll not leave you, Master. Don't deny me my destiny, T. You will leave if you must. Oh, and you owe me back rent. Go to sleep. Tomorrow you will have a very important message to deliver. Go now. Stupid destiny. Dumb stupid destiny and stuff. Is this my destiny? Further. Keep going. No. Wow, that was a mistake that lasted six years. Godspeed, Travis. Answer your muffiny hat. Introducing plus size peasant wear. <laughs> Bajul the beggar, come out and show yourself! Drop your pee and come out with your hands up. Look at that, little buddy. David Warner, you are under arrest by order of David Warner. <laughs> Bajul the beggar! I, Lord Barchair, Keeper of the Law for all the land, charge you with crimes against the Manager mm. and of conspiring with the Order. Can you hear me over there? Later in Castle Forester. How's it coming, old Great One? Can we get back to Edmonton? Ooh. I think I've got it. Come here. Come here. I think I have it. Right. I think I've got it. Let me see. Yes, I got the roll on Mad About You. No, 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 that's not it. No, I haven't got it. My Mongolian barbecue is ready, though. Maps. Why does he leave me maps to decipher? I'm no good with maps. I get lost going to the moat. Why do they call them moats, anyway? Medieval, yes, but famous for their brick oven pizzas. Hmm. It's kind of boring out tonight. Huh? Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> Hello, Wall. Hello. <laughs> Zero to three in twelve seconds. <laughs> It'll be a nice day if it doesn't rain. Oh, it's always a nice day if it doesn't rain. It. She looks roughly like Brian Dennehy. <laughs> roughly. If the sun isn't too warm. Gone. It's a recipe for slimy gruel. Lots of bacteria. You'll want to burn those off. Mm -hmm. Danger. Go Maydeed's Tavern for help. Find storehouse now. <laughs> yes. Hello, my friends. Today on Satellite of Love Sunday morning, we are livid with proudness in presenting the Sir Thomas Neville Servo Consort of the Middle Ages, just after the plague singers. They will favor us today with an ancient air on the Delta Knights in a new setting by Sir Thomas Neville Servo himself. 
Let's enjoy. I sing of the glorious Delta Knights, they I live the in Europe somewhere. With Archimedes, they eat their Wheaties and look pretty good in their kind. They do go out at night, they don't get the historical facts just right. They hide from their copies and really tight. They look pretty good in their Oh, sweet Delta Lady, am I, am I, more fair than the stars in the sky? I'm bold and body and all my body, I'm proud to declare, my sweet Delta Lady, I do what I please. I'm strong and I'm savvy and I've got peace. I'd love to sing out, don't forget the trees. I'm proud to declare I like pie. Ah, fantastic, fantastic. I know I won't soon forget the cheese. Let us thank the Sir Thomas Neville Servo Oi, Consort mate, of the Middle Ages. Let's have a dirty one! Right. The, no, 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 no. Now I warned you, please. Please, please, no, please, Sir Thomas, no. I warned you about this song. Out of my studio. I want all of you out. Please, we have movie signs today, my friends. <laughs> Where do those uh, other servos come from? Mm. Uh, you know, around. These cod pieces made of actual cod. The movie next door is so loud, that's really annoying. Man, I need a cigarette. You varmint! Oh, good. The bars are still open. Oh. <laughs> it looks like Haley Mills, which I don't mind, by the way, really. If he runs into a Klingon, I'm quitting. What, he spits mosquitoes through a straw and they bite the victim? I guess. Instant heart attack. Yep, that's what you gotta do to get a table at this place. Mm -hmm. Alanis Morissette is in prison. Finally. There you lads, you're drinking again. My contact line. Did you not get my message telling you to go to Maydeed's tavern? Yes. And why are you here? You should not have come. I had to. They're paying me to flog you. What the devil is this? A soccer ball on the table? So you want a free mumia while we're here? Or? Yeah, I pretty much got this medieval thing figured out. <sighs> Snipes, Willis, Stallone, your table is ready. Little scrawny blonde kid, get in and do their action scene. This kid should really wear a hairnet while fighting. Master. You're deploying oh. bottle rockets. Oh. Oh. Sultans, pirates after them. <laughs> Are the guards? Come on, let's go hop the freight train. Oh, I've got 
a massive groin pull. Now he's Sam Elliott. Am I trailing blood? Ah! Uh, no, no, it's fine. Hide yourself. I'm sick of looking at you. What? T, hide yourself quickly. You better get out of the way. I'm in a pee-throwing mood. I grow weary of your antics, <laughs> beggar man. He eats his body weight and moths every day. Kill him. People are always trying to hang their coats on this guy. Look at that turkey in the straw. The boy must have got away. Move on. Sir, are we Saxons or Vikings? Or, well, what are we? So let's settle on that. <laughs> Get me, I'm Saint Sebastian. Father? Aren't you glad I broke you out of prison? <laughs> you must find the storehouse. And liquidate everything before Vulture. You're not gonna do it, are you? Maydeed's tavern. You'll find help there. And a decent happy hour. You know, good chicken wing. Mm. God be with you. Yeah, uh, is that gravy on your lip? My son. Who looks like my daughter. Oh, ow, ooh, that's right on an arrow. Ow. Ooh. Hey, he's sporting a kicky little ponytail now. Well, his chopped up torso is easier to carry than I thought. <laughs> Kyle? Hey, how's everything at this table? Great. Help me. I'm oh, mad, I'm drinking. Gorgeous beast. Norm! How you doing, everybody? Sit outside and pet our millipedes. <laughs> wow, they had Ethan Hawks back then, too. I'll show you the time of your life. We're going to Camp Snoopy. Aren't you hungry? Do you have any scurvy meals? Yes. Don't I know you? Didn't you seat me? Have I seen you before? <laughs> you don't have to be so clever here. All you have to do is ask. First Hooters. I'm too young for psalm. <laughs> is there anything you want? Some dessert? Something more to drink? Something else? There's, there's a three dollar minimum. Yeah. All right. I'll take these elsewhere. If you change your mind, my name is Thina. Yeah, yeah, fine. Look, I'm probably gay, so. I call it Bluto. Mm. What are you doing? I'm not getting thrown up on, I hope. You're trying to steal my soul. This is drawing an image. Why you didn't oh. Must smoke a galois. Uh, he's a little woozy from not eating. <laughs> it's so awkward when you're at the ground round and you have to kill another person. Tell me about it. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. I'm Leonardo. Travis Morgan. This is your first time in Madame Maydeet? Yes. I'm from Florence. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Dante. A reader? A man after my own heart. As a token of my gratitude, might I buy you a drink? No, thank you. Anything else to eat? They have a playland. Anything. <laughs> he studied at the Royal Academy of Dan Cortez. <laughs> the girl. Here at Madame Maydeet, you can have anything yeah. you want if you have the coin. Even a lovely bedroom. Mm. Big guy's sweat is good today. <laughs> Bought his hat at Cinnabon.
He's staying at a bed and Renfest. <laughs> I'm a door to door harlequin. You need any harlequining done here? Wake up. It's time to go to sleep. Wake up. There's danger. What? But he, who, you, fa, uh, uh. <laughs> Andy. He's trying to use a remote control on him. Look, there's outdoors out there. Vikings lost. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Oh, damn, the safety was on. I think he's not riding a Pinto. It might explode. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for waking me. You're welcome. Besides, Travis, you do the same for me. Call me T. T. It's short for R. <laughs> so, why did you still vote Chaz Horse? Oh, <laughs> I figured he'd have the best one. But it pulls to the left. <laughs> do you think we should split up, make it more difficult for them to follow us? Depends on the weather. What do you mean? It'll be a nice day if it doesn't rain. <laughs> it's always a nice day if it doesn't rain. If the sun isn't too warm. You're my contact? Let me see your tiny time pills. You're a Delta Knight? It looks that way. I was born in a small town called Vinci. About <laughs> ten years ago, I moved to Florence yeah. to study. My master is a member of the Order. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere on that horse. <laughs> Look, here. Ride with me. Ooh. Hey, that's always been there. I run just fine. <laughs> Come on. Rather persistent, Dorothy. Leonardo barely escaped being called Leonardo de Gary, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then my dad got transferred, and now was Leonardo de Oxnard for a couple of years. Tell me, or am I gonna have to drag it out of you? The horse is wearing a modest skirt. We took something. What did you take? A lot of little sugar packets. <laughs> the slave market. The slave market? You took the slave market? <laughs> I knew she looked familiar. Who? Fina. Fina. The serving girl. The one, the one Volcha just bought. Turn around. What? Turn around! Bright eyes. I'm telling you right now, I don't like this. Hey, the horse isn't wearing any underpants under that skirt. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Medieval gold, 24 madrigals by 24 stars. This way, men. Blast it. The boys must be just ahead. I can't believe you idiots let them steal my horse. I've got to watch my face okay. more closely, Rando. Very good, sir. Jeez. They're working as headhunters for a rival tavern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep, uh, wench jacking was a big problem during the Middle Ages. It's you. Of course it is. Who else would be such a fool as to try and rescue you? Many real men would give their lives for me. Why? And they could have you for a few coppers. Uh. If you think so little of me, then why did you help? I only helped because Stop he's... Stop it. We don't have time for this. Well, Chan and his men could be here at any moment. Mm -hmm. The other horse, I'll ride with the girl. Oh, no, you don't. We only have two horses. Doesn't matter. You're not riding with me. Excuse me, little Miss Princess. You're not riding Enough. with me. I'll ride with you. Well, they're going to have to check each other for ticks when they get home. <laughs> Princess. Give us British sterling. How did you get a restraining order on me so quick? <sighs> well, huzzah, I suppose. I don't know. It's a Nicole Kidman in the wild. You stole something, did you? Hello? Hey, mead for brains. 
What did you steal? Pretzels. Money? Jewels? A map to the lost storehouse, perhaps? How did you know about that? Now, come on, T. In addition to being a pretty good artist, I'm great with maps, so how about it? How great can you really be at maps? It's like being good at eating cereal. Yeah. yeah. Who drew this? My grandma, who was born without arms. I copied it. Oh. A noble effort. Yeah, for using your butt. <laughs> wow. Mm. Sir, what about the girl? What about her? Well, we can't very well take her with us. She'd slow us down. We can't just leave her here. We can give her some money. She can take care of herself. She's nothing but a serving wench. That's not true. She's a shift leader. <laughs> the rules of the order are very clear. We're not just going to abandon her. Watch this. I'm in a short sheet or sleeping bag. <laughs> Can we see the dessert tray? Come, I think two silvers is more than fair. I said no. Listen. Doing something when you are forced and doing something of your own free will are two different things. How about three? I said no. Leave her alone. I am no longer a slave. Yeah, I'm going to go design a helicopter. Is <laughs> hmm? block and tackle for his crotch? Oh. They pan over, and there's Balky. <laughs> the Vikings in this movie don't bike very well. Not at all. <laughs> Guns? They must have camped outside Sturgis. Chest scouts. I thought you said we'd lost. I don't know. Maybe they want scouts. Well, I'm never gonna get back to sleep now. Scouts all right, they're not very good ones. They would have killed us. Voltaire surely would have killed them. Well, and this guy fell on our bread. Maybe they just stumbled onto us. If the scout's dead, Voltaire will have to decipher the map on his own. What? Nothing. It's none of your concern. Okay. We should get out of here. If it weren't for the girl, they'd never have found us. I never asked for your help. Future side of Euro Disney. <laughs> huh. hmm. Well, the movie lost me. It lost me and it's trotting off without me. <laughs> Bonanza, now in Femi clothes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was checking out your cleavage from behind. The way I... I shouldn't have. I like you. <laughs> Thank you. For what? Saving us back there. And for your pillows. Ooh. Well, Leonardo, you say the nicest things. Yeah, that's how they raise us in Vinci. <laughs> he needs new brake pads. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Are we being attacked or entertained? If only this was a mask and not my face fungus. You're on our land. Put on fruity half masks and be welcome. <laughs> Come with us. We're about to do back rubs and breathing exercises. Mom bought me this for trick and treat. Who are these people? I don't know. But every moment that passes, we'll check it's closer to the storehouse. Don't let them lag behind. And don't let them loop their dialogue. The trees infested with elves. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, this winter, I'm uh, planning on being Leonardo to Cancun for a couple of weeks. You all right? Who are these people? Well, I'm Carl. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you? I'm not sure. Silence. 
There'll be no talking by Prince Jumpjug's command. Well, tell Prince Jumpjugs we're sorry. Prince. It's better than being captured by Morris Day, I guess. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Trying to obey Prince Jumpjugs. When in doubt, rest. You are full of crap beyond your years, kid. Hey, help! Open up. Jumpjugs wants to see the girl. Well, if Chopshill wants to see the blow, I guess we can. What's going on? Hey. Back off. Bent Foliage State Prison. <laughs> I can't believe her alone. I said back off, boy. Zena. Well, only 60% of their prisoners break out the first night. Zena. <laughs> can you bring me a Klondike bar? It's your turn to meet Peter Pan. This is about me not pooling my tip money, right? Leave us. Leech. My leech? Leave. Sit. Stay. <laughs> There's a midget under her dress pushing up. <laughs> Lucky midget. Midgets get everything. <laughs> It's all right. I'm not gonna hurt you. Can I borrow one of those things? Don't I know you? Aren't you the woman I just captured? Haven't I seen you somewhere before? I doubt it. I've been a slave since I was five. Since you were five? That's a good age to start as a slave. Tell me, what is your name? They call me Fina. Fina? Like the gas station? Short for Athena. I think this is plot crap. Damn. Bando! Yes, my liege. Sound the call. I have great news for our people. As you wish. Ah. People of the I <laughs> Help me down! <laughs> okay. Thanks for not breaking the sticks. <laughs> Come with us. Johnny Cash is going to entertain you tonight. Follow my lead. Get hair extensions and talk like a girl. <laughs> going. Gotta go visit the Howler Monkeys. Now, Leonardo. Oh, the plan is run! Where are you running to? What have you got us into now? Come on, Tommy! <laughs> Cheech Marin? Why did it have to be bridges? They're over here! Follow me! Do I have a choice? I'm starting to like Willow. Wow. I see them! I'm coming! Oh, do you see them? Here, quietly. Quietly? So the Ewoks grew up to be big, stupid men? I'm coming! I'm coming! What in... Unless I'm mistaken, I'm fairly sure that that one guy is coming! Yeah. What the? is that? <laughs> Come on! Snuggles the bear is partying with his friends. There! There they are! Come on, Key, hurry! We're almost back to where we first escaped from. At least they're coming! <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming! Shut up! <laughs> you put a sock in it, Legolas. I'm sorry for the way you've been treated. You're sorry? What's going on? And I'd like to thank you for bringing my sister back to her people. Your sister? Him or me? Perhaps I'd better let Princess Athena explain. Princess Athena? I'm coming! Athena. <laughs> God, T, she is a princess. Wow, her dough has risen. Mm -hmm. Quite a change from a slattern in a body house, mm -hmm. isn't it? You're kidding. Athena was always a princess. Or a cheerleader or a naughty nurse. Mm. No matter what you had to do. 
I just meant she was a hooker. My two knights in shining armor. She's not so shining. Does she have a butt in her dress? You must be hungry. I'll see that some food is brought. No horn while I'm gone. Thank you. Prepare a feast, my people, and rejoice. A princess has returned. You're really a princess? Yes. So John Tyr tells me. This tree village serves as my brother's hunting lodge. After we eat, we have to get some sleep so we can leave at dawn. Leave at dawn? To get to the lost storehouse before Valcher does. You know about the lost storehouse? Yes, I heard you talking to T about it. Have you told anyone? Can we get some crackers? No, no one. Please, Thena. I mean, Princess Athena. You can still call me Thena. <laughs> you can tell no one, Thena. Please, you must promise. All right, I promise. You can't come with us. But you need help. My brother and a few of his most trusted men... No. Leonardo and I have to go alone. No. We belong to a secret society. The Order. <laughs> uh, great. Yes. As Delta Knights, we're sworn to do this for the benefit of all mankind. Except Dick Army. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thena. I'm coming! I'm just coming! Coming! coming. Come on, Gretzky. I'm bad. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey! Sorry, sorry. Hey, nice hey, man. hey, Mike! There's some sort of a spaceship approaching the port bow. Oh, uh, Cam, Mike, give me rocket number 11, minus two. Cute. Leonardo da Vinci, Mr. Da Vinci, it's, it's an honor to meet you. Hey, don't worry about it. They call me Leo, and I call you... Oh, uh, Mike, and this is Tom and Mike. Crow. <laughs> Mike, Tom, Crow, is it? Crow? I like it. Crow, it's good. <laughs> wow, Leo, I have to say I'm amazed you're still alive. What, you've been talking to somebody? What's so amazing I'm still alive? I, I think he just <laughs> means, you know, you were born such a long time ago. <laughs> What's a long time ago? You know, I watch my back, I stay alive. Right, yeah. So, you know, I have so many questions about your art, about your incredible inventions. Or where the movie's supposed to be taking place. Everybody's English, except maybe it's Greece. You're what, Italian, I assume? Yeah. What the heck is going on? Hey, it's a bad movie. Well, yeah, but... So don't worry about it. Anyway, the reason I come by, I wanted to tell you that this guy who's playing me in the movie yeah. is nothing like me. He, he's a mook. He's, he's a mama's boy who should be home with his mother and his little sisters. He's a... He's a mook, you know? Yeah, no, I agree, yeah. And I, and I want to tell you that I'm not a mook. That's why I come by. It's your call first, I'm sorry. No, wow. that's, that's quite all right. Uh, so you're still living in Vinci? Or? Yeah, no, I came over in 1907. I live in Queens now. Oh, huh. what are you doing now? You're still inventing things, or? Hey, I do what I do. I'm in business. Yeah, what, what do you do? I mean, Mike, who is this guy? He's asking me questions. He I, wants me to be dead. I didn't. You know, what do you need to know what I do? Maybe I come over there and show you what I do. No, Leo, no, Leo, come on, come on. Leave the kid alone. Come on, he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mike, I got no beef with you. But you talk to him. No, I will, I will, I will. Right. Hey, Tom, listen what? up. I don't want you to ever ask Leonardo da Vinci what he does for a living, okay? Okay, all I right. won't. Yeah. What do I owe you? <laughs> Just kidding. Hope that puberty goes all right for you. God be with you, T. And with you, princess. Come on. Enough of that. Hard to pick up chicks when you look like Holly Hobby. Poor hmm. horses had a bad night hanging in the trees. I'll hit la. Uh, uh. Okay, let's just lead him to water and see what happens. Come on. Hey, check it out, man. Grass. Score. I 
I don't see anything that looks like the entrance to anything. Except your flies open. Well, are you sure we're in the right place? <laughs> we are if this map is right. Wait, this is off a Libby Land dinner. What's this say? My Greek's not very good. It says, how do you keep a Delta Knight busy for hours? Turn over. Beneath the shape of a fist from the house of the one. Treasures are given. da 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 bliven. From father to son. Great. Another mystery. House of one. What's the one? Other than the first words of each sentence, the only words that are capitalized are house and one. You know, that kind of shirt never caught on. Mm -hmm. I'm the one. Your house. Does your family have a house? Well, a trailer. In Kent. It's called Sandstone Hill. Beneath the shape of a fist. A sandstone rock or boulder that looks like a fist. Right there. This is my fist, you idiot. I think we can pry it open with a stick. No, I'm not seeing a fist. I saw the movie Fist. Mm. Big stick. Mm. See the fist. Giant ground crow. The first garage door openers were cumbersome. Coming. Harder. More drawn out and boring. <laughs> Push. Timothy, where on earth did you go? Man, my eyes have already evolved away. Have you seen my wife, Mr. Jones? Huh? Archimedes kept all his playboys in here. Dragon poop, watch it. Check it out, Rock looks like LBJ. He's invented Bachi Rock. Medieval, wow. Red book. McCall's good housekeeping. How did you know? I just felt it. Keep feeling. Hey, he who felt a dealt it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Why is he dressed like a milkmaid? Hey, he's a puss in boots. <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo de wet pants here. You know what? It's about three feet deep and cushioned on the bottom. You're fine. I'm here for the Bullwinkle fan club meeting. Man, I'm hot. I have got to get a summer costume. <laughs> here, rinse that out for me. Then you too, Roy. Follow me through the gateway to destiny. But first, let's check out this crummy mine here. Mind your heads. That was supposed to make us sad, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> hey, Gollum. How's it going, man? Try them both. I think you'll like the harvest cheddar. I think one is the right way. And one leads to disaster. That's okay, because I'm always flirting with disaster. Yep, uh, gateway to destiny. Uh, yep. Just the book saying anything. The right way must say which is the right way. That's it. What? Ah, uh, no, wait, no, it isn't. When in doubt, choose the right way. Let's go. Wait. Let me get my purse. What? I'll go first. Ah, oh God, I'm dying. <laughs> Leonardo? Are you all right? Leonardo! Hmm? I'm feeling a tingle. Hurry along, man. Destiny, remember? Ah, uh, moo, sir. I guess.
It's the Blind Faith album cover. Kinky. Man can fly. So Da Vinci was a moron and stole all his ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> the Colgate crystals. I call their mine. And it flaps, see? <laughs> I guess Archimedes never thought of inventing the feather duster. What's it do? An early high and lowest. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Uh, hook em horn, sir, by the way. I think it's an ace award. It's capable of producing a very powerful beam of light. Light? Archimedes used intense rays of light to fight the Romans. Is this what he used? I don't think so. This is fueled out of the fabric of space. Fabric of space? What does that mean? Tensel. I don't know. It sounds awesome to me. Oh, my underwear's tightening up. That's beautiful. The magic cyst of Archimedes. Well, Mbop. What? Good afternoon. Aw. I'll get this one, Ray, excuse me. <laughs> These Delta Knights are taken captive like three times a day. It's not a good record. <laughs> <laughs> we took him stuff, sir. <laughs> I guard this old futon with my life. So good of you to lead the way. Did you feel the sarcasm? Because that's how I meant it. <clears throat> um, uh, I was going to say something else. Ah, never mind. Archimedes wasn't that brilliant. He was trying to design a pen. Whoa! I'll be quiet. It's a giant mitten, and it's after me. It's my turn. <laughs> Where is everybody? I was gonna do karaoke on this thing. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter that there are any boys. Everything here is mine. Archimedes flow comb, everything. I have the power. I have this thing. I shall rule the world. I shall enact zoning laws. I gotta call Columbine and tell her I'll be late for lunch. <laughs> Leonardo! <laughs> Leonardo did completely ineffectual E. <laughs> oh. What the? Does everyone have canola oil on their fingers? <laughs> cool. That makes my lips beefy. Hmm. Well, I guess that yarn mail doesn't work very good. <laughs> Spent from battle, they lie draped in each other's arms. I want his poet shirt. To enjoy much scientific pleasure with magnificent operation. Uh, now it's going to be a space-time thing and Worf's going to pop out. <laughs> T pities the fool who gets in his way. Ah. Meow. It's mine. And the banks. <laughs> oh, mine. Is the take broken? 
Mm -hmm. Keep going? Yes or no? <laughs> oh. oh, it's an Archimedes knockoff. Body will shield me from the blast. Mother. <laughs> you want to take a broomstick and knock me off of here, please? Look, varicose veins. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I'm uh, fire in the hall. So guys. Should we be feeling anything at this point? I mean, you can go ahead and feel something. I'm not gonna. Oh, okay. Oh man, is it the Renaissance already? Oh, you tried to kill me. Ah, go paint an enigmatic woman. <laughs> you tried to kill me. I want to see if these are fruit of the loom. It didn't even puncture you. Well, why don't you try again? Look out! <laughs> Whoa, that just popped out of me. <laughs> And you didn't think you needed me. Fina! Uh, breasts! You came! The stoolhouse. I knew I had to come. Why did you say stoolhouse? What happened to you? You tried to kill me. Giant dink. What did you do? I had to blow it up. I'm kind of a psycho kid. <laughs> Mankind isn't ready. At least. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Think of all the good it could do. Think of all the evil. Mm. How many more Vulchairs are there? But in the hands of the Order. I can't unleash that power into a childlike world. You can't unleash it. <laughs> Who gave you the right to decide? Hell. Archimedes, in his prophecies. That's ancient history, this is now. Well, he was right about so many things. What are you guys talking about? The inventions were from his genes. And from Atlantis. And what happened to Atlantis? Oh, no. Shut up. Do we want another Atlantis? Remember what the Delta stands for. I don't know. Wisdom. Huh? What? Composed of knowledge, oh. judgment, and compassion. And hockey hair under fey hats. I'm sorry, Leonardo. Mr. House must remain lost. That night, Leo spiraled into a spaghetti and Chianti haze. Anyone need a skill saw blade? He's right, you know. He's right, you I gotta say, grazing in the grass is a gas. Baby, can you dig it? <laughs> I must invent the cold shower immediately. She left a list of why she hates me. Although Leonardo burned the map to the lost storehouse, his thoughts would always be inspired by the wonders it contained. And? Coming. Is that it? Or... And so the bonds of friendship between the beautiful princess and the two young Delta Knights denied the forces of evil access to the ultimate power. At least... For a time. Come right close to this one. Hey, look, it's Pearl. Yeah, Pearl. 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 pipe down. Pearl. Hey. So now you wouldn't expect those kinds of losses now, would you? What? No, no, that's a little unusual. Okay. Still, it could be a luminance yeah. problem or mm -hmm. something we call a UP leakage, which can happen with some yeah. of your older films. Now, now, see, that's what I thought, but this one was a fairly recent mm -hmm. film. Ah, that is unusual. Uh, Why don't we just take some readings? Uh, excuse me. Uh, won't, won't be a minute. Hi, Pearl? Uh, oh, what's right, going Mike. On? Uh, this is Fred Eggleston from Facilitech. Uh, call me Eggs. Oh, hi. Hi, Eggs. Hi, Eggs. <laughs> Howdy. We're just trying to figure out why we're not getting the kind of pain levels we need from these movies. Why don't you just have a seat there, son? We'll be done before you know it. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Eggs. Th thanks, Eggs. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Pearl, why don't you grab the end of this oh. tape measure here? And sure. Hold it there. Hey, watch mm, out. Yeah. Watch it there. Yeah, that's Interesting. Sharp. Interesting. Oh. Well, why don't we just snap a chalk line so we know where we're starting from. Oh, sure. Pearl, if you could oh, hold sure. that there again. 
All right, hold it tight. Yep. Watch it, Please egg. Be careful. Ow. Ow. Sorry about that. Mm. Won't be a minute. Over my head. Ow. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, Mr. Eggleston, now what? Well, you know, I was just thinking. Uh, Maybe you're getting some pain leakage around the edges of your viewing screen here. Mm, huh. You replaced the weather stripping since you bought this rig? No, 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 I haven't. Was I supposed to? Well, most of our customers with pain-motivated yeah. subjects in a theater-type environment replace their weather stripping mm -hmm. every eight, ten years. Oh. If this is old, some of your pain could be escaping out the sides, and that could be your oh. problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, do we need to be hey, here? Hey, shut up. I am talking to Mr. Eggleston. Uh, eggs, please. Yeah, certainly, oh, eggs. Mike? Well, I'm just going to run a beat of cock here along the edge here. Oh, Let's take some more know. readings. Mm -hmm. <sighs> cock gun. <laughs> you know what, you guys? Don't think about having a porquetta for dinner. Is that going to be all right? Yeah. Yeah. Please be quiet so that eggs can run a beat of cock. Sorry, man. Well, there you go. Let's see what kind of readings we get here. Mm, yeah, that helped a little, but it's still not what we're looking for. Mm -mm. I hate to say this, ma'am. What? 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 Uh oh. Well, you might want to consider a larger viewing area, which mm -hmm. would mean replacing this uh, support wall over here and raising mm -hmm. the whole ceiling up 24 oh. inches or so. Wow. <laughs> How much would that cost me? Oh, rough estimate, I'd say. 48 large. 48 large? Are <laughs> you kidding me? It's not cheap. Yeah, still, it seems like money well spent, Pearl. Yeah, pay the man now, Pearl, or pay him later. Yeah, you know, like they always say, Pearl, you can't make your subject suffer unless you spend a little money to enlarge the theater. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll show you pain and at a bargain, too. What the? Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, ow! Oh, oh. That'll work, too. Come along, eggs. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Wait, oh. she's going, Pearl, don't Pearl, go. Come back. We love you. Oh. Oh. Pearl. Did that just happen? She hits oh. me. That means she loves me. <laughs> You're not Pearl. <laughs> Oh, hi, not Pearl. Uh, I mean, Mike. Do you want to look at my Pearl scrapbook with me? No, no, thanks. You know, I, I see Pearl enough in person, thank you. You, you. you take that back, you you, you big not Pearl. Hey, you know, you guys need to talk. It seems like you may be having some feelings about Pearl not being here we anymore. We just miss her, Mike. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, she gave us a mint once. A, a mint that had been at the bottom of her purse for a couple of years, and there was part of a tissue on it, and... And a hair. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's great that you guys have these wonderful memories to keep you going. Thank you. Oh, oh, she's Pearl's calling, calling Pearl, for me. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl's calling, calling for me. Don't, don't touch me first. Don't touch me first. Pearl. 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 Oh, mama. Hey, kid, you gonna finish those? Let me give you a hand there, huh? Oh, hi, Nell Creep. Oh. Hi, bony gold creep and porcine red creep. Hey, get a load of this. The Delta Knights reserved this place for their annual pancake breakfast long before we even moved in. Would somebody please pass the syrup? A more cake of pan, huh? Oh, please. Oh, yeah, leave that on me there. Good, good. Keep them coming, and we need more syrup over here. <laughs> well, what do you know? Another successful pancake breakfast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help, Bobo and Pearl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Didn't you guys used to roam the countryside defending the weak or some crap like that? Yeah, I think there's something about that in the bylaws. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Tom? You got that right, Frank. I don't know. We pretty much got it distilled down to just pancake breakfast now. In fact, everyone, I'd like to announce that thanks to this year's successful pancake breakfast, we've raised enough funds for next year's pancake breakfast. Hey, 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 hey. And in celebration, hard candy for everyone. Hey. 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 